Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry with Simpler Trading, and in tonight's free video, I wanted to bring you an idea ahead of FedEx earnings. I've done a lot of these in the past, showing you how I like using the unbalanced butterfly strategy, and this is going to show it to you before the company is set to report. So provided you're hearing this anytime relevant to when it was published, uh, FedEx will have earnings Thursday after the close. So on the 17th into tomorrow afternoon, you'll have a chance to start positioning for this spread. And I wanted to show you a couple of things as far as the Fibonacci ratios relate to it. This will be brief, but it's to show you a spot where I feel like market makers are pricing in a similar move. So from the high here at 266.61 down into the low made right around 200, the retracement of that bearish move, the 618 of it, takes you right there into about 241. Notice how these levels, you know, they're a little bit overlapping as far as the actual numerals themselves. Well, because that's showing you where that 618 of that decline is matched with the 1618 extension of this high to low extended. So this is all just to say that earnings can be very binary and there's no guarantee that these levels will hold. But when we close at 225 and I show you what I think will be an important zone of resistance at 240, well then you come over into the options tab or here in our chain and you say, what are market makers pricing it at? Well, right now the move into the end of the week is priced at $16 you know, let's call it 15 just for the easy math. So the 225, you get the move to the upside. Well, then that zone should be defended. So <clears throat> I'm thinking that that will act as resistance. And then I'm also trying to use the idea that the recent lows will not be taken out. So if you like that way of thinking, it's an interesting place to consider putting this strategy on twice. Now on the downside, after today's advance, there's not as much premium down here. So it may not actually make sense on the put side. You know, it barely goes for a credit. So let's just leave it on the call side for now and look at it with the idea that if you can structure your unbalanced butterfly, five wide is usually how I like doing these. Now that will imply a little bit more risk, but let's say that you get a 50 cent credit for it. Your maximum profit is realized at that strike, right, at the 240, and then if it's anywhere below it, you will make money there as well. So if I'm wrong about this and it explodes through it, well then you would wanna take a different kind of trade. But if you think it could be somewhere in this area and would like to do it with a structure that gives you no downside risk, then that type of an unbalanced butterfly can work very well for it. If I am incorrect on this, and it's why with earnings, I want to give you a few ways of thinking so you can do the best to express your opinion. But say instead of unbalancing it, say you know for a fact that we are going there and maybe you're a little bit more bullish on it. Well, then just do the one by two by one and that'll make it a little bit more accommodating. You'll do better with a more of a directional kind of straight up move. And those are the two spreads that I'll be considering for tomorrow afternoon. So I hope that helps, gives you some ideas how to incorporate these Fibonacci ratios into all types of decisions, including that of earnings. And we'll see how it plays out into the end of the week. So y'all have a great night and we will see you at the next free video. Hey traders, this is Henry with simplertrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.